are uh, a big fan of data and you work a lot with our customers who are undertaking data projects. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you're seeing in the industry and why it's so important to think deeply about how your data is evolving within the cloud? For sure. And I think that um, it's, sometimes it's easy to feel like data is not as valuable to you, perhaps because you don't have as much, but the reality is that data is permeating everything today. Um, I read statistics that said that like in the year 2020, we had something like 45 zettabytes of data uh, in the world. And the projection is by 2025 that that's gonna be 175 zettabytes. That's like 175 trillion gigabytes of data worldwide. And so if you're not creating data and you're not ingesting data, you're absolutely still gonna be involved in data in some form or fashion, right? And then you consider, you know, not only are we collecting more data about the things that we're collecting data about, but we have more things that are now collecting data too. You have IoT devices, everything's connected, right? Everything's on the internet. Manufacturers build things that um, have sensors and whatever it is, and they're reporting data back. And so data is all over the place, right? And so we're sort of getting ahead of collecting the data. Now it's a matter of making sure that we have it in the right place and that the people who can make insights out of it are positioned to be able to garner those insights out of that data. And how do we at Kalen help enable those customers get in that place to garner that insight, to learn more from their data and mm -hmm. even modernize their data and bring it into stores that let them perform the queries that they want to do, you know, do the business intelligence that they want to do? Yeah, so there's some real tactical items, of course, that um, are kind of table stakes at this point, I would say, that we can do that helps you collect your data from various sources. Um, put it into cold storage where you can still query it, but it's really cheap to store. Move it into warmer right, storage. Athena. Yes, correct. Yep, so you could use things like Athena to query S3. It's in cold storage, cheap to store there, but maybe it's not so quick to, to be able to query. As those usage patterns start to spike up and you see those trends, you can push it into warmer storage, things like Postgres or things like Redshift, for example. And now you've got a hot data store that you can go query and you can get results quick. It's just at a different expense in the way that you store the data. And finding the combination is the right, right spot between all that. But that's, that's really the table stakes uh, part is figuring out how you're going to store your data and where you're going to store it. The real value comes in enabling customers to understand that they are generating data and that they are not only producers but consumers of data and then thinking about how can I drive my business if I had better data, right? You've got the historical data that will show you how your business has performed, right? And then you've also got the ability to predict the future based off of the data that you have if you were to leverage things like AI and ML in the right way. It's very interesting. So at Keelan, we have something called the Data Modernization Assessment Catalyst and this catalyst lets you understand deeply what your entities and access patterns are as a business, not necessarily as a specific function or application, and leverage modern data stores, everything from Neptune to, as you mentioned, Redshift or po you know, Postgres or Aurora. And we can look at what your business use case is and help you pick out the right set of data stores to give the results that you want at the price point that you want. And we have another catalyst that I think is very interesting, which is our data lake catalyst. And that one is, in my opinion, one that's going to help a lot of customers who have been collecting data over time, but may not necessarily know exactly where to put it or what to do with it. And to your point, you know, it really is understanding why this data is an asset instead of why that data could be, you know, expensive baggage. You know, it's, 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 inertia, it's, it's momentum, it's, it's not uh, weighing you down, it's you know, propelling you forward.